Hey everybody, welcome back. This time I'm going to go over the heads-up display for my folding electric scooter. This is also applicable to the Swagtron scooter uh, and probably some others. Uh, I'm not really sure, but if they have this uh, look, then it will probably work on them. No guarantee, uh, of course. So I'll go over the, uh, the layout here and some of the settings. So we'll start off with up here you have your battery. You have your speed in either miles, kilometer, or uh, kilometers per hour. And also, if you're in the settings menu, this will tell you what setting group you're in. Uh, you have your gear settings, zero being neutral, and then one through five. And then your odometer and some other various readouts down here. So, the biggest thing people are going to ask about, oh, and battery, in case that wasn't relatively obvious at this point. Another thing people really want to know is these settings. So if we go hold down up and down at the same time, we are in here. Now up here in the top right, the big numbers, there's one, two, three, four, five, and six. Let's go over them one at a time. P01 is backlight uh, brightness. So one is dim, two is medium, and three is bright. And that probably looks kind of techno on the screen here, but uh, I like to leave it on one, and honestly, between the three, there isn't a whole lot of difference, but I like to leave it on uh, on what's dim as compared to what's bright. It's kind of nice at night. P02 is miles per hour or kilometers per hour. So hit up or down, and you switch between the two. P03 is an automatic shutoff, and that's for the entire uh, system. That's not for the menu here. It's in five minute increments, zero, five, whoops. <laughs> so it has a pretty quick timeout on the settings menu, which is kind of nice. So I have mine set to five minutes. You can do zero, so it never times out. And you can go all the way up to 60 minutes. I'll leave mine set at five. P04 is manual acceleration. So with this one, if you set it to zero, then the throttle will automatically start you moving. Um, so as soon as you hit the throttle, it starts the wheel turning. If you have it set to one, then you have to kick off a little bit and get it moving with your foot before the accelerator will kick in. So, I mean, that's kind of useful maybe if you're in the city and stop and go traffic a lot. Uh, it'll save you the extra power of having to turn the motor over trying to overcome uh, being at a standstill. So you save a little bit of power on that one. Let's go back in. P05. This is cruise control, and this is a really nice one. Th these options are either one or two. One is off, and two means that cruise control is on. So if you hold the throttle for six seconds as you're, go as you're going along, Whatever gear you're in, it'll stay in that gear, and you'll maintain that speed. I'm not sure if changing the gear while you're moving disables um, the cruise control or not. I would think it would. But if you tap the throttle or the regenerative brake, uh, it'll disable cruise control. Well, it won't disable it, but it'll stop cruise control um, and just go back to uh, manual thumb. Now you don't have to go back into settings again, you can immediately hold down the throttle for six seconds again and have cruise control back on. So that's a permanently enabled uh, setting in here. You just control it with the throttle as to when you want to start or stop. Let's go back in. One more. Make sure I had mine set to two. And six is the odometer. Uh, this simply changes or I guess should have changed the odometer reading. But I have yet to see it actually do anything. Okay. As far as I can tell, I can't make it do anything. Um, I'm not sure that you can, but uh, yeah, I haven't figured this one out yet. That one kind of has eluded me. So, yeah, that's really about it. Um, obviously, you can change your gears. You do here, 
Uh, in the main display, if you hit power button, you go to distance traveled. And I believe that is uh, per run because obviously I've traveled a lot more than zero miles. Um, here's your voltage. Here's the, uh, the amount of uptime uh, since you've powered on the system, not overall time, but just the amount of time that you've got the system powered up. So I've had this system up and running for a little over six and a half minutes and the video is currently at five and a half because I had it running a little bit before that. And then we're back to the odometer. See, I've come nine miles. The distance would be, uh, since you turned on the system, how far you've gone, kind of like, uh, kind of like uh, system uptime. So it counts up from the time that you've turned it on. It's not a global setting. You want the total amount of distance that you've gone, that's odometer. And as far as I know, you can't reset that. So, as far as I know, that's it. I don't think there's anything else to it. That P06, I'm still working on figuring out if you can do anything with it at all. But uh, yeah, hopefully that goes over some of the settings here for you. Uh, maybe they're useful for you, maybe not. If it was helpful for you, like, share, subscribe. Let me know in the comments if you have any other questions. And I will see you guys in the next video.